Hey guys, Eight here. If you've ever taken a photo or shot a video, then you've probably heard of exposure. So what exactly is exposure? We'll also discuss how the three variables, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO come together to determine exposure. Exposure is the unit of measurement for the total amount of light allowed to reach the digital sensor of a camera when shooting a photo or video. It's computed in EVs or exposure values. It is determined by the three pillars of exposure, aperture, ISO and shutter speed. And if you remember from my previous videos, these three variables can be graphically illustrated on the exposure triangle. Higher ISOs will give you greater exposure, but you'll get more grain in your image. Wider apertures will give you higher exposures with the added effect of a shallow depth of field. And finally, a slow shutter speed will give you higher exposure, but the image will get blurrier the slower the shutter speed. We already know how each variable affects exposure differently, with aperture controlling the area through which light can enter your camera, shutter speed controlling the duration of the exposure, and ISO controlling the digital sensor sensitivity to light. It is therefore easy to see that one can experiment with different combinations of the three pillars to get the same exposure. The key is knowing what effect you're looking for in your composition and which trade-offs to make. For example, this picture is taken at constant ISO and aperture to achieve a good exposure with shutter speed being our only variable. The second is shot with ISO and shutter speed constant to achieve the same exposure, with aperture dictating the final exposure. The third is shot at a constant ISO of 500, with shutter speed and aperture being changed to figure out the exposure. All three photos achieve the same exposure even though it is determined with a different variable, but the effect of each method can be noted. Most digital cameras will have a number of exposure modes that can simplify the steps taken in the example pictures. Aperture priority is one such mode where the user specifies aperture and ISO, then the camera's metering system determines the right shutter speed. Shutter priority is a mode where the user specifies shutter speed and ISO. The camera then goes on to figure out what aperture to use. Program mode allows the camera to determine the correct aperture and shutter speed with the user determining which ISO to be used. Manual mode allows full control over all three exposure controls and usually there will also be a fully automatic mode where the camera does all the work and determines the right exposure using all three pillars. I hope that this video was useful to you. Please leave a like and a comment if it was. Once again guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Catch you folks in the next one.